the really powerful thing that is different about cryptocurrency is that we are sitting on a data set that is essentially all whatever we have identified as being illicit. And all that money does have to move somewhere and find an off ramp. Now, you don't have the equivalent data set using the fiat world where you can go into a data set and see where are all the darknet market wallets. And then at the same time, look at all the ransomware wallets and see how they intersect with each other. See criminals using darknet marketplaces to fund their ransomware activities and then move that money to off ramps. There is just no equivalent fiat world data set that allows you to see that and those interactions across different types of crime. And so this is unique in that we have our eyes on all of the, what what we are calling crypto native types of crime. And so I find it quite exciting to be able to look and see and feel as though the money laundering world might be not feel completely overwhelming. And I think there's a lot that people can do with these addresses. I don't know how it's going to change over the next year or so. I think it depends as how, on how the regulatory environment evolves. And, you know, I can't predict that. So, but it definitely is a capability that we have and uh, an important thing that we are hoping to raise awareness around. Thank you very much, uh, Kim, for your insights today. And if I take a step back and look at the overall number again, you know, the 10 billion number that of transactions associated with illicit activity. And just superficially, I would say, you know, this is a fraction compared to what we see in today's uh, financial system, which is difficult to put a finger on, but some have put an estimate that uh, 2 to 5% of global GDP or close to between $800 million to $2 trillion. So I think that will, it's still going to be really, really interesting to see how we tackle or we allocate or split our resources to investigate these uh, the illicit activities in the crypto world versus the in the traditional financial world. Um, so thank you again for your insights today, Kim. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for having me.